barbaric crackdowns and executions have significantly increased in Iran in line with Tehran's further fueling of war and conflict in the region. They are the pillars of the clerical regime's survival strategy. In the past two weeks, at least 48 prisoners have fallen victim to the slaughter machine of Khamenei. 10 of them were Baluch Iranians. On Tuesday, December 5th, Khamenei's thugs opened fire on two Baluch youth in the city of Chabahar. Both were killed instantly and their bodies were taken away. Over 120 executions in November alone as widespread executions, especially that of the MEK and other dissidents have been on the rise. Families and supporters of the MEK have also been targeted. The regime's judiciary has sentenced political prisoner Zahra Safai, 61, along with her daughter and son, as well as Kamran Rezaifar, 58, to five years in prison. It cited private conversations, activities on social networks, collaboration, and communication with the MEK. Additionally, the physical condition of many of MEK affiliated and other political prisoners is worsening. Ali Moezi, a 70 year old MEK supporter, is in critical condition. He suffers from cancer high blood pressure, and severe arthritis, and has no access to essential medical facilities. Dealing and negotiating with and appeasing the religious fascism ruling Iran is morally inhumane and strategically futile. This regime must be shunned by the international community and its leaders, especially Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei, its president, Ibrahim Raisi, and its judiciary chief, Olam Hussein Ejayi, must be brought to justice for over four decades of crimes against humanity, genocide, and warmongering.